What's up, everybody? It is Sunday morning, March the 24th. It is the day after the trails got a little bit less dusty around here and a little bit more uncertain. Just wanted to remind you at 2 o'clock today, we will be bringing you the Cardinal Sports Zone podcast. Um, what was initially slated for a one-on-one with uh, our guy Nolan Smith is going to be expanded a little bit. So we will go one-on-one with Nolan Smith and get some of his thoughts and and opinions on on uh, his tenure here and you know how he wanted everything to go versus how they went. Uh, we're going to ask him some hard questions. We're going to ask him some fun questions. Uh, as you all know, he is uh, you know he's a friend of the family, so we're going to take care of him. And have a good time. Uh, my wife is going to be the barista for the, the, the afternoon. It's going to be a blast. We're also going to talk uh, about the situation that unfolded last night with uh, new Michigan head coach Dusty May and where wires got crossed yesterday and and how that all kind of went down the timeline. It was crazy. It was fast. It was furious. So. We will we'll let you know about that. And then lastly, we're, we're going to ask you, if you were Josh Hurd, who would be the top three on your coaching list? Make sure you tune in. Sound off. It's going to be a great time. I'm trying to see what time are y'all going? Um, Sydney, 2 p.m. Sydney Smith, what time are y'all going live? Uh, one sorry 2 p.m. what time is it? look people are asking Steve Rummage how long is the podcast maybe 2 p.m. until 3.30 we're not going to have a time limit though so you all keep asking questions uh, and Sean we'll, we'll answer that question Bay what's good Look, we're going to have a good time today. Got the house ready. It's all cleaned up. The studio's looking nicer. And uh, I switched. I used to have those. If those of you all that have followed the show for a long time, uh, no, I used to have those microphone, microphone boom arms that went across the table. I got that new set up today. I'll s- send some pictures out on Twitter here in a little bit. Show you all. Patrick, what's good? Hey, man. <laughs> Who knows? I I don't foresee that. Card guy says the list on the field of 68 is horrible. Um, Look, I want you all to give me your list. Not now. During the show. Again, here's the order of events. And we may have a pop-in by Steve Rummage, he said, which means that's a 5% chance it might happen. Possibly could be. But we're going to go one-on-one with Nolan. Then we're going to talk about the, uh, the events of yesterday. And then we're going to talk about who you all want. If you are, thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. Welch, what's good? Desmond in the building. Look, I'm just doing a pre-show. I'm excited. I'm ready to get to go today. I got about 50 minutes before pre-production starts. uh, And the gang will be here. Sean, Sam, Dalton, Nolan. Uh, We're going to get it going. We're going to get a crack. And we're going to ask some tough questions. We're going to ask some good. I mean, there's nobody he trusts more in this business to do this interview than me. And for that, I'm thankful and appreciative and we're, we're gonna uh we're gonna take care of it yeah rough night for sure antron cardon of the building man we could have been munching on some wings by cardon if you would have brought them over to the crib for us to eat before the show but whatever but yeah we're gonna have a good time tonight it's gonna be fun uh, i say tonight here in about two less than two hours away again pre-production starts at one o'clock so if there's any questions you want to dm me privately to ask nolan um uh, feel free I'm not going to do any of the public stuff because there's still, you know, still hatred on Twitter, no matter what you do. So d- if you want me to ask a question to Nolan, DM me privately. We'll get the question. Okay. Car- fair enough. Car- car- fair enough, CD. Um, yeah, but it's going to be a good time. Two o'clock to whenever it ends. Uh, I've got a list of about 25 questions that I'm going to ask. I'm sure Dalton and Sam will have some follow-ups. And then we'll take questions from the crowd live. So, uh, once again, it's the Cardinal Sports Zone podcast. I know the graphics says live with 55, but I was doing this little uh, pop-up. So, I hit the wrong graphic. It is what it is. 
but yeah, we're gonna have a good time. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the love. Heck, I even appreciate the hate because like you do have an option not to watch if you don't like what I'm saying and doing. That's cool with me. Like my but like my my best one of my best friends on earth is Steve Rumbage, and he is the message board guy to the extreme. And he tells me about this funny little group of people on the message boards every Sunday that critique what I say or call me an idiot. And that's fine. I don't care. Dwayne, what's good, man? Oh, no, no. I can't tell you my top three now. But I can tell you it ain't none of the people we heard about last night. Uh, that's for sure. But I'll tell you my top three. We'll, we'll give you, I'll give you that information on the show. Uh, haters are welcome. Lovers are welcome. Supporters are welcome. Obviously, I prefer nobody hate me. But there are people out there that are just mad. They don't know who I know or do what I do. And I accept that. And I, I embrace it. So, yeah, I just want to do about six, seven minutes. I can answer any questions y'all have that don't pertain to Dusty May uh, or Nolan Smith for right now. No, Sean. Um, but yeah, Sean Barber's on the way. He, my tech guy, he's going to produce the show today. D- going to do things a little differently today. Normally, I scroll through the, the comments and read them out aloud. Uh, Sean is actually going to post the comments on the screen as we're doing the interview, so that way not only do I not miss any comments, uh, but so that way it could be uh, probably going to do it that way going forward too. So it is what it is. Uh, let's see. You know, my question, Sean Barber on the way, Sam Bazin on the way. My question for Nolan, uh, it's on. dad fits L one C four. Yeah, man, that would, that, uh, I like that question. That's probably not a question I will ask today, but I, I do think, um, We'll keep that privately, but I do think if things don't work out here, that that's probably uh, the move. So stay tuned. Sam on the way. B Money in the building. What's good? I wonder if Josh has taken any. Uh, happy birthday to, uh, gosh, bless his heart. He's a. Uh, what's good, DeVito? What's good, Brian? Uh, would you have. No, I don't think so. Be money. I have to call him that because I can't call him by his given name uh, because it is the most feminine male first. Nothing against that, but I just cannot. I, so I call him B Money, and that's my dude. He's a new, he's a new member of the Jeremy Woman circle. Uh, so, and you all know I don't trust anybody. So the fact I've let him in the circle don't it don't mean as much to him as it should. He don't. He's not from he's not from around here, so he don't know that like I know everybody in Louisville, and I joke with them sometimes. I'm like man, I'm kind of a big deal here, and uh, you know we both laugh because I'm really not. And uh, DBG, what's good, man? Hey, keep it, keep keep it to yourself. Uh, Jason Baker is not upset that Musty May isn't, and I'm not either. You can ask Steve. I have uh, told him, uh, but before it was a very so I had to be talked into Dusty May. Because I told Steve from the jump, I didn't want somebody that was going to leave for Indiana in a couple years. And I still believe that. But once it looked like it was going to be him, and I know for a fact that we were told it was going to be him, um, I just, okay, sure, I'll take him. But no, I'm not, I'm not upset either. Sean's not upset either. Yeah, your glasses are right here. Sorry, my barista for the day is uh asking where her glass here they, here they are ma'am thank you yeah 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 I, i've already told them you were going to be the waitress for the day while we're doing the show um what okay so there's three things and the quest private questions are uh are coming so i like that do what sam and sean are on their way here so that is one of the, it's not, Shelby, what's good. It's not really that he wanted a Big Ten school, but the uncertainty of the ACC, perfect, uh, played was one of the three main factors. Uh, I guess we could talk about this a little bit now, not to really give away show stuff, but we'll talk about it on the show. We'll get everybody else's perspectives later, uh, since there are quite a few people in here right now, and I got a little time to burn before the fellas get here. Uh, to me, there were three main factors, and I know this, I say to me, but these were things I were told by people who know. Uh, factor number one was absolutely, I saw that, uh, thank you, 
Yes, I also I believe with Josh. I'm not panicking about the coaching hire. Here, we'll put it up on the screen for y'all to read. Uh, good day, Robbie. What's up, D Wall? I agree with that. Da, 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 da. Dwayne's not upset. Maybe he wasn't ready for the Ville. Too much to handle. Yeah, you got to handle this crazy bleeping fan base too. Uh, base like base said, I would have been okay, but I wasn't sold on him or anything. I agree. We'll go ahead and throw up uh, Dwayne's comment. Uh, Sean, it wasn't that he wanted a Big Ten. So uh, fa factor number one, his, his representation is, is is Nike representation. So, and again, I'll preface that by saying at the end of the day, why did he agree to come to Louisville in principle if these three things were a factor? Factor number one, the uncertainty of the ACC. Factor number two, um, was the shoot Adidas versus Nike, right? He's at a Nike school. Uh, that's where his representation is Nike. So that's what he wanted. Uh, Quinn, I do think Will Wade's now on the short list, but he is last on that list. I, I agree. I think it would be fire. I'm not even going to lie about that. Uh, and then, the, the third factor I heard is that his wife just didn't want to live in Louisville. She preferred Nashville and Ann Arbor to Louisville. So, um, again, those are things I was told by people that know them. I, I don't know. I cannot sit here and say 1,000% uh, that, that that is what they said, but I, these people I trust, they don't. They look, very rarely steer me wrong. Uh, Robbie says, wait or beer. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Anybody, I'm not even going to do that. I have, I'm not going to readdress the, the, the Chris Beard situation. Josh Hurden needs to be gone. The fat, if I would consider it. No, why would he consider, Spencer, let me just ask you this. I'm, I, I, I lied. I am going to address this one time. Whew. For Chris, as somebody who has, really good female friends who have been domestically abused and someone who has nieces who I hope are never domestically abused. I don't care if I do not care that the charges were dropped because in a lot of the situations, females drop the charges because of fear. But here's my thing. If we're not going after anybody with baggage anymore, either he's the problem because he did it or she's the problem because he didn't do it and she lied. So it, it is what it is. I, I just, I, I, I will never, little Rob says, for me it's frustrating. I'm horrible with surprises. I just hope, yeah, I'm, I agree with you on that. Drew and May, but got burned by them is ridiculous. Aaron Cox. In the building, I don't believe he would have done a lot for us, to be honest. I, I'm with you on that. Jeremy says it's Ann Arbor. Can you blame her? No, not really. Uh, Quentin says two up-and-coming star coaches, both under 43. Uh, Hayden says it would be cool if Roy Williams came out of retirement. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Never going to happen. Spencer, and, and that's, that, that's what you're saying, but that's just not true. Something happened that night. And, and it's known by people behind the scenes, something happened. So, no, he didn't. I don't. Okay, so in your situation, and I'm going to respect your opinion, he got exonerated. So that means she lied. And if she lied on him, she can come to Louisville and lie on him for much, much worse and get us right back in trouble. So, no, don't want any, don't want any part of that uh, at all. That's me personally. They found out you didn't do anything. Spencer, we, I, I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate, but I, I have I, I have family members who are friends with that woman. I know a little bit more than the public knows. I don't want anything to do with them or her. Do you think we can bring a coach in off of retirement? And again, these are all my opinions. Y'all are free to have your own, and I'm not getting on you for having different opinions. Y'all can do whatever you want. Uh, free world free speech all that good stuff we are going to go ahead and wrap this up we're heading towards the 15 minute mark stay tuned we are less than uh, we are right at about 96 minutes away from the cardinal sports on podcast at 2 p.m right here on youtube 
It's on Facebook and Twitter as well. Brought to you by Restream, uh, putting everything together so I can see all you beautiful people at once here at the top. Uh, yeah, either she lied or she didn't lie. And, and I've heard things to the contrary of what you've heard. We'll just leave it at that, Spencer. Again, re I respect your opinion and appreciate it. Uh, Bay says the only coach they'd want is Jay Wright. I, I don't hate that. Uh, Brian McGlass is the fan base going crazy or are we just not getting used to it? Yeah, I, I think that, that we're just not used to being turned down. Uh, plus, it's the, it's the whole last nine years have been nothing but one big fart for a lack of uh for a lack of better words after the other so <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that 2 p.m csc podcast wherever you can find podcasts um after the fact we will have this put out to over 125 different podcast avenues so you can listen to the video version if you weren't able to catch the audio version but the audio version is live it's streaming we'll take your questions in real time um yeah just tap in let us know what y'all what y'all think uh, as always and shout out to the 502 circle for always representing your boy the little live stream start back this week tentatively that's what we're hoping for just waiting for the guest um to be sent to me but we will start that back up tuesday for more information on the Louisville live stream, DM me on Twitter at Jeremy underscore CSZ. And then we'll have Live with 55, which is our midweek show to catch you up on everything that happens between now and Wednesday, which could be coaching info. Same places you can tune in there as you do for this. Uh, for now, let me catch up on the chat line. Uh, Ransdale family. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. Peace and love. These new names scare me. Spencer, I agree with you. I'm going to give you three names that I would not be afraid of. And uh, Dylan Gardner with a Will Wade hire, we can find solace in knowing that whatever we have to get through, and absolutely, we're a program trying to get back to glory. Wade is, of course, the coach trying to do the same. Let's do this together. I think you all will. Sorry, I didn't realize I had the camera there. I was reading the comments. I'm like, uh. But yeah, we will uh, we'll talk about all that. We'll give you our pros and cons and all that good stuff. And we'll be waiting for your alls at 2 p.m. Right here, almost said right here on ESPN 939 DeVille. Sorry. My old days coming back to me right here on the Cardinal Sports Home Podcast Network and streaming network.